Hi. Hey. Hi, guys. Hi. May the fourth be with you. Ugh. Is that today? Ugh. It is today. Get ready, Ugh. guys. Yeah. Get ready. Get ready. Jo JB, you're a big Star Wars guy. Okay. Well, five o'clock shadow, John Jay. Yeah, I didn't shave. It's hot. It's good. Jesus <laughs> Friday. It's good look. Okay. He's yeah. warm. Yeah. You get a haircut, though. You get a legal haircut. It's clean. Comfortable today. Yeah. It's not freezing. Mm -hmm, I like it. You like it? Olive pants. Olive pants. That's the way olive. to do it. Olive pants. <laughs> They're sweeping. I love sweeping olive. The I, I love pants. I love <laughs> pants. I love olive pants. Olive pants. Look at that stretch. Mm. I was doing this in front of my trainer the other day. Chuck, <laughs> yeah. Chuck goes, what are you doing? <laughs> Go stretching. He goes, what kind of stretches? And I go, I don't know. My dad used to do it. I feel like it's, it feels good. <laughs> yeah. Looks was, good. Was, don't ever do that in my house again. <laughs> <laughs> it's John Jane Rich. Phone number 877-937-1047. Our website, johnjanerich.com. Another website is loveupshirt.org where you can get Love Up shirts. We got several Love Up shirts uh, that, that go back into the community to help uh, boost the economy. And those are called, I forget what we call those. Love Local? Yes, Love Local. Those shirts go right back in the economy. And then we got our masks. Our, they're $10. And we got Love Pup masks and Love Up masks. 10 bucks. Go to loveupshirt.org. Speaking of money, so my wife left town last week. She's back now, but she left town, I don't know, it was like Wednesday. And she's the person that gives me money. You know, like she'll put <laughs> cash in my wallet. Mm -hmm. And my wallet is usually a rubber band. And the rubber band broke. And I lost some money because the rubber band broke and, uh, and it was credit cards or whatever IDs were falling around wow. everywhere and it was like everywhere and I lost the money. She said, where's, didn't I give you whatever? And I go, oh, yeah, I don't know where it is. So I haven't, I had, I didn't have money for a while and she left town <laughs> and I had set up, I had set, she left me with my two older sons and she took my youngest son and I had set up, couldn't take it anymore, an underground illegal barber was coming to my house on Friday to cut our hair. Thought it'd be cool male bonding. And I realized I didn't have money to pay him. Oh, no. So I had called my wife and I said, how do I get money? Do I have an ATM card? Is there one in the house? Is there <laughs> money in the house? And she's like, you can't. I, I didn't know this, but you can't really go to the banks, right? They're like dr only drive through mm -hmm. or uh, something? You can't go inside unless you have an appointment for yeah. the most part. Oh. So, she, so I was like, well, that's not going to happen. I'm not going to go drive through and I don't, I'm not going into the bank. And you so, don't have an ATM card? I don't remember if I have one or not. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> this is literally like talking to a seven-year-old right now. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> my so, rubber band with my money broke and I lost it. <laughs> so, so get this. So get this. My son Jake is 17. He has a job. He has a job that he loves. And he, he's been making some money. And she says to me, Jake's got cash. So Jake comes home. She goes, Jake will be home from work today. He's got money in his wallet. And she goes, you can take that money. I go, what time is he coming home? She goes, well, probably around 5, 5.30. I go, I got the barber coming over at 5.30. So when Jake comes home, I'll just take money from his wallet, right? But I want to ask him. Obviously, mm -hmm. I'm just going to take right. it. So the barber's coming over at 5.30. Jake's coming home at 5.30 at 5-ish. And Jake texts me, says, hey, I'm going to stop by Cole's house on the way home. I'm like, no, no. man. <laughs> like, like, you're like, maybe he stopped by our house? <laughs> I, need, I need you to go home. Like, like, I don't know how to tell him that I need, I need his money. Right? So I'm like, then I'm like, okay, wait, no, that's cool. You can go to Cole's then come home because you'll, be you'll be the last one to get a haircut. And I'll be stuck. So anyway, Jake eventually comes home. He takes his wallet out and sets it out on the counter. And the barbers are cutting, and I'm like, oh, God. I don't want to ask Jake for money in front of the barber. <laughs> like, it's so reduced. embarrassing. Yeah. Reduced. It's so embarrassing, right? Oh, so yeah. then I'm like, hey, Jake. And he's like, yeah. I go, and he talked to him. Like, what? I go, uh, you know, mom went out of town, and went out of, like, I need to borrow some money. And he goes, yeah, no problem. I had to borrow $150. <laughs> he had, oh, and he had it in gosh. his wallet? He had it 300 <laughs> bucks in his wallet. Give it to your kid. Yeah, Be man. the responsible one. And you're uh, the one asking him for money. I know. So I had nothing. I had nothing. And then, and then my wife eventually comes home. And then yesterday, she's like, she's like, uh, I go, hey, I need some money. What do I need money for? I need money for something. She goes, she like says to me, she goes, well, last time I gave you money, you lost it. And I'm like, so what, am I just ne never going to have money now? <laughs> She's not going to give me money? Oh, I had to go tip. I went to go pick up my food for the week at Protein House. I usually tip. Mm -hmm. when I, pick up, I need cash in there. And now I go, I need some money to tip. And she's like, oh, well, last time. I go, 
You, we, I need money. <laughs> I need to survive. You need to show her that, that you can yeah. be responsible. responsible. One time I lost some money. I lost some money one time in my entire Probably life. It's more than one. No, I know. It's only one time. It's not and, then, one time. and then she goes, and then she goes, then I'm leaving. I go, hey, I thought you were going to give me some. Can I have some money? And she goes, I gave you some. And she gave me some already. She left it off the counter. And I was like, oh my God. Like, it wasn't on my wallet. I thought I already lost it. <laughs> yeah, I think what she's talking about is like, you don't even know if you have an ATM card if you needed to get money. One time, because I long time ago we went through this already, and I can't remember if she gave me one, if I have one or not, but I have one for, I don't know. It was. I thought you had one, but you like never activated it. Right. Which is worthless. And then when I went, <laughs> right, right. Yeah. But anyway, so but anyway, I got an underground haircut, and it was so refreshing. And it, what's funny is I posted on Instagram, and then so many people were asking me who he was, and they wanted him to come over. Oh. Right, and mm-hmm. then after time went by, and that you know it was on my story, so twenty four hours goes by, and it's gone. It's off your story, right? So I post pictures of my kids and me, and I had so many people later that didn't see that story go. Looks like you got your hair cut. <laughs> How did you do that? Where did you go? How did that happen? And I'm like, and I just had, felt like I totally. And I thought, if I'm open about this on the radio, can I get arrested? You know what yeah. I mean? This is such a weird. It's so like reminds me of prohibition. Like when there's no alcohol, alcohol is illegal, but then all these little speakeasy popped up and you had to knock on the door and they go, yeah, what's the password? And you'd be like, coconut seven. And then you'd be allowed in, like I had this weird connection with this. Oh, also, I had this dog, Kyle's friend's dog. It was at my house and we were watching, right? And I found a perfect home for him. And my, my, my friend who I gave the dog to, he decided to come over and take the dog home on, on Friday. Just so happened that's when the barber was there. So he comes in to pick up the dog and he's like, Oh, hey, man, can I get a haircut? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I guess so. Like, so now, needs one. Your house is now a salon. <laughs> my, my, my house was like dog rescue slash hair salon. Well, that got cleaned up with about four, four haircuts. Four yeah. haircuts. Four yeah. haircuts at my house. That's like half a, half a work day for uh, most barbers. <laughs> it is so crazy.